Hi, this is E Online College. My name is Edith Wozi. I hope you are doing great in your Igbo language learning journey. Okay, that's wonderful. So today I will teach you the uses of na in Igbo and how to write na correctly in each of the cases. Let's get started. Na in Igbo uses and writing. Na in Igbo uses and writing. Na has some functions in the Igbo language. Today, I'll teach you three of those functions. The three of the functions I'll teach you today are na as conjunction, preposition, auxiliary verb. Na as conjunction. Now, we all know what conjunction does. When na functions as conjunction, it is written in full as it is. We have examples here. G na ede. Obi na ada. Ncha na ude. Aka na obu. Mo na ge. Now here I have you and I. In Igbo, first person pronoun always come before the second person when you are using them together. Unlike the English, the second person pronoun comes first, you and I. But in Igbo, it is the other way around. The first person comes first, Mona again. Let's look at other examples. Ani siri usikapa na agwa. Ani siri usikapa na agwa. We cooked rice and beans. Nem, nem zotaran achichapeke ahoy kere na meyuri. My mother bought me bread, granite, and cold water. Na as preposition. Na as preposition when na functions as a preposition in a phrase or sentence it could be written either in full or with an apostrophe it is written in full if it precedes a word that starts with a consonant if before after na you have a word that starts with a consonant, then the na should be written in full. Example, nansoka, nakano, nasokoto, nakaduna, na London, na Malaysia, na Abandu, anambra de na Nigeria, anambra de na Nigeria. Now, I want to quickly let you know here that in Igbo, na, na functions as in or at. You, you, in Igbo, we don't differentiate at and in as it is in English. It is na. Whether you want to express, whether you want to say in, or at you use na na nsoka na kano na sokoto na kaduna na london na malaysia na papando the second one is when na precedes a word that starts with a vowel here it is written with the apostrophe and the a dropped the a is dropped that is the vowel because two vowels are coming together so you have to drop the one so as a rule when it follows when it precedes a word that starts with a vowel you drop the r and replace with an apostrophe example examples nahe noka nenugu laval no gista, nelu, nime, 
n'akoko n'ilu n'azu n'okpuru n'etiti now i've said this before that in igbo na could mean at or in they are not differentiated in igbo as it is in english now let's look at this her office is at number 326 avenue obiori adena number 326 avenue she is in her office on an obiori you see that here we have na and we have na there is no difference the only difference here is that this na here precedes a word that starts with a consonant while this one precedes a word that starts with a vowel so we remove the r and we put apostrophe do you understand that all right also when that precedes a gerund or a word that starts with an infinitive or participle form it is written with an apostrophe yes when you have na before a gerund or participle or infinitive form you have you write it with an apostrophe you drop the a example before the a gerund uriri now this is a gerund uriri no uriri um, these are gerund ojije omume ojije osisi okuku omume they are all gerund now when na precedes any of them remember the gerunds we have any were not limited to these these are just examples now when you have your na preceding any of them you drop the a and use an apostrophe instead we have no diri no mumu no jije no mume no dide no sisi no kuku no mumu when it comes before an infinitive it is also written with an apostrophe example nega nigu nije ne mama in English it is furthermore, furthermore, need on a need. He or she is in, on a journey. On a need. He is on a journey. Name mama. You have a name, my 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 name, when na is preceding a word with a participle form it is written with an apostrophe look at this this is a participle ama ama na ama ni ama unknowingly na agbanye in spite of na agbambo na agbambo In hard work, without doing anything whatsoever. All right, that is that for na as a preposition. Now let's look at na as an auxiliary verb. In Igbo, na is used with the participle form of verb. Verbs to show continuous present tense. In this type of formation, now is written with a hyphen, as we have in the examples below. Neri, on a region. He is eating yam. It could also translate to mean he eats yam. Progressive. On a ribuji, he was eating yam. Or he used to eat yam. 
Nancy is cooking or cooks. Neme is doing or does. Naga is going or goes. Nata is chewing or chews. Nano is drinking or drinks. There are certain formations where na does not have a hyphen. Let's look at these examples. Ana ma gahe. I'm going to the market. Ana hai bapa. They are crying. Now, in Igbo, whenever this, we have this form, it is always written like this without a hyphen. So whenever you see na in this form, do not use hyphen. Hope that was helpful. All right, that's the end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you have any confusion, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and share our videos. If this was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much. See you next week.